Welcome to Royal Zone. Your microphone are showing again. Photos prove mag carried recording equipment for docu series. If this is your first time tuning in our channel, please hit the subscribe and notification button to keep you posted on our latest videos. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex reunited with the Prince and Princess of Wales to view the floral tributes left at Windsor Castle in memory of the Queen. Prince William, Princess Kate. Prince Harry and Meghan wore all black as they walked through the doors in their first public gathering as they were finally introduced during the National Jubilee Thanksgiving Day celebrations. The Queen in June, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex held arms as they checked out the tributes, with Harry lovingly placing his hand on Meghan's back. Among others, William and Catherine dressed beautifully and assured that they could dress Catherine very elegantly as always. Harry was noticed to be toying with his pockets recording equipment and looked uncomfortable to begin with. Meghan did not have time to apply the bronzer and also looked surprisingly subdued which makes one wonder what has been said to the Sussexes. Both Sussexes appear to be deferential to the Cambridges well fans have spotted Meghan's recording equipment on the hip. William and Kate walked on one side of the street greeting people, while Harry and Meghan walked on the other. The Duchess of Sussex once hugged a young woman who asked can I really have a hug as viewers filmed the moment on their phones. William has also transformed into a small toy Paddington bear, based on the Queen's Jubilee cartoon with the character being handed straight to an advisor. A member of the group came forward and said I love you William while others gave his name. The Prince of Wales thanked people for coming to pay their respects. Following the tour, which marked the Prince and Princess of Wales' first engagement under their new titles, the two couples exited the same vehicle. After successively travelling to Balmoral with his brother and other wives and children on Thursday, the Duke was unable to reach the fort until around 8.30 p.m., hours after the Queen's death was announced. The Sussexes, who are nearing the end of a tour of Europe, are expected to live in the UK to await the Queen's funeral on September 19. The Prince of Wales previously paid tribute to the Queen in a statement released by Kensington Palace. On Thursday, the industry lost a world-class leader whose commitment to country, the wealthy and the Commonwealth turned into an absolute, he said. So much could be said in earlier days about the significance of their historic reign. However, I lost a grandmother, and while I mourn his loss, I am also very grateful. In fact, I received the Queen's know-how and approval well into my fifth decade. My wife had his advice and support for 20 years. My three children were able to vacation with her and create memories to end their whole lives. He said the Queen was by his side through his happiest and saddest times. I knew the moment would come, but it's probably going to be a while before Granny's existence really becomes real. He said, my grandma said heartbreak became the price we pay for love, he concluded. All the disappointment we are about to experience in the coming weeks could be a testament to the affection we feel for our main queen. I will honor his memory by helping my father, the king, in any way possible. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to notify you on our next